Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about revenge trading and volume. It was a red day Friday. Eh, kind of sucks a little bit, but let's learn from it anyways. So let's get right into the video. Let's talk about Snapchat. Snapchat on the daily time frame, I really love this trade setup because we've made it over all time highs and we've consolidated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days nine days and today we're approaching the all-time highs i know that there's sellers at this area but if snapchat can actually get a little bit more volume and momentum then i think that snapchat could get through the highs well snapchat made a nice good morning move and we started to pull back and so i started to buy snapchat in about the 78s area so i'm long snapchat at about 78 and since i love this setup so much i took some big size i took some really big size hoping for they move to the upside. Now, hope doesn't move a stock, and uh, I, obviously I know that, but I was really looking for that upwards move. And what really got me on the Snapchat was the initial size, and then Snapchat, you know, on a Monday through Thursday, Snapchat would be seeing through its all-time highs, but on a Friday, looks like it's back to the consolidation range. I fig figured it had been uh, long enough, and we're starting to flag and, cur and curl higher, but you know, today was not the, the move follow through was very little. And the biggest mistake uh, besides uh, too big of size on Snapchat was me trying to buy the dips and then constantly getting stopping out. So channels are kind of my weakness. If you can see, Snapchat was kind of thrown into a channel, a downwards channel, and it, it kept failing to break out. See all these uh, lower highs being uh, sold into? So Snapchat, you know, bought, bought this, you know, quick stop out. Okay, I bought this breakout, quick stop out. And it was it was kind of a three strikes and you're out type of scenario with heavy size. Snapchat, a nasty, nasty expense trade to start off the day. What I basically want, learned from that was, hey, I need to be less stubborn. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, even though I think Snapchat can make all time highs, it doesn't mean it has to. The market can just go back. Even though the SPY was having a nice, good green day, it just wasn't, uh, it just wasn't ready. And I was ready for something and I was the only buyer in the market, it seemed like. So, let's get into the next trade. My second biggest hit on the day was Google. And Google was in a nice, good uptrend. You know, we're making higher highs, we're making higher lows. Amazing earnings report. I figured it'd be a little bit stronger than the market due to the fundamentals. But I was trying to force my opinions on the market. So, Google, really nice, good, uh, steady trend. If you remember yesterday, I actually nailed the low of the day yesterday and sold at the high of the day yesterday. So yesterday was really good, but today I had to unfortunately give that back. And I'm, there's nobody else to blame but me. Sizing was a little bit off, but anyways, Google, nice good move down in the morning, but then we started to break out over 27.25, right there. Do you see that? Dip down, boom, that's a buy setup. I love taking that buy setup. It works for me, probably about seven out of 10 times. So uh, seven out of 10 times is gonna work. It looks like this was the three out of 10 times or the market environment is changing. Anyways, Google started to break down and I had to cut my losses just underneath 2717. And what's the, the, the biggest uh, uh, part about Google that sucks a little bit is the slippage. So minus $250 on the slippage, but an extra minus $250 for the actual trade. So the Google, the spreads are pretty wide, you know, $2 wide. Uh, a little bit frustrating, you know, I was the only buyer on Google today. So it's all about volume and Google's not really a day trading stock. I'm trying to force my hand on a stock that's just meant to be a turtle. And so Google's a, a smaller position and swing trade type of stock. The spreads are a little bit wide. Google just might not be tradable. And th this was kind of like a problem in the past uh, where I, I try to trade it, boom, just take a hit uh, for no reason. But Google, when it when it gets there, when it when it when it moves well, it pays really well. Oh, well, Google, not a day trading stock. I need to be paying attention to higher volume. There was only one good trade today, and that one good trade was on Tesla. Tesla, if we remember, I, sa I said, um, Tesla, I'm looking for this breakout over the $700 share level. Boom, on Monday, we took that breakout and was able to sell at like 724. It was a really good profitable trade, and I I'm glad I didn't mess around with Tesla for the rest of the week as the stock decided to have no follow through. But if you missed it on the way out, you can always catch on the way back in. So I caught it on the way back out over 700. If, if Tesla's coming back into 700, I like that for at least a short term bounce at 700 for a day trade. So if we zoom into the smaller term time frame, I said I'm looking for 698 is actually my line. My line was 698.07. Boom. You know, obviously, the, the best move of the day was this hump formation, bear flag drop. 
boy, that would have been a uh, killer. And then you can add on this flag drop, this flag drop. Boy, all of those cell setups were so cool. But if I missed uh, three cell setups, I'm actually going to start to look for that buy setup. So Tesla, nice, good move. Nailed pretty much the low of the day, 699. And then I just trail up my stop, trail up my stop, take some off at 702.50s. And the last off of about 703. So Tesla, nice, good trade. You know, some big L's can come after some big wins. Yesterday was over 3K. Today, going to be minus 1.2K. You know, three out of four Fridays are red for me. I'd have a lot more money if I didn't trade on Fridays. But oh, well, who cares? Nobody to blame but myself. Have a great weekend. You know, all, all the other trades just kind of failed. It was just one of those days, one of those Fridays where your stops would get hit to the penny. Uh, you know, at least stopping out saved a ton of money. Anyways. I have no regrets, just a little bit of frustrations. But anyways, hopefully you guys learned something new about volume, liquidity, revenge trading, my thought process behind it. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.